guys welcome back to the channel i finally got my 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 camshaft my crank my crank for the um for the gtr for skyline and i'm going to drop it off today to my mechanic by ziggy but i just remember this morning that i haven't started um this car since since i covered it up like about two weeks ago so i need to start it make sure it's running because these cars when they sit that's when they go bad <laughs> when they drive they're fine but when they sit things start to you know everything start to crystallize and all that stuff so you guys i'm gonna give it a start and i'm gonna start the chevy as well because i'm so excited it's running properly now i'm so excited um some more work need to be done to it the electrician is gonna come and kind of neat do the finishing touch on the wiring you know hide everything away and you know just store them where they're not going to be seen make it look you know a bit neater but yeah guys let me show you the, the crank so the crank is still in the box i'm not going to pull it out of the box i'm going to leave it until ziggy let ziggy open it because i'm excited to start working back on the gtr i know a lot of you guys are 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 wanting to see the NSX, but it's not time for the NSX as yet. NSX it had a small problem with the engine, so Ziggy is also uh, will, Ziggy will be working on that. You know, so it's parked in the other garage down downstairs. I will, I mean, I will show you, but there's not much much to see. It's not like I'm gonna drive it or anything like that. I'm doing some work on it now, so you're not gonna see all of that until it's um, been worked on. But let me start this car and this will be a real cold start. <laughs> Trickle charger is showing green, means it should start right up. Let me get this cover off. One thing I can say guys, these covers, you have to take your time with them because they're very, very fragile. Guys, I was doing something very stupid a while ago. Instead of opening the hood to take off the thing, I could just plug it right out. <laughs> I could just plug it right out, but anyway. On the other hand, it's better if I remove it because around here will get hot and might melt it. And it's like I said, it's very fragile. So yeah, I was doing I was doing the right thing. This is all warmed up. I'm sure it's okay now. Battery is still fine. What else to do? I'm gonna leave this, maybe take the S-Class, drop off the crank by Ziggy, and then I can show you guys the GTR. Hey buddy, you driving? You driving events? Hmm? Come, where, where have the engine up here? You getting out? Okay. That's what you want to do, buddy? Hey, come on, let's go. Guys, when this man hear the car start, start dancing. This man just dancing to the sound of the engines. <sighs> Trouble. Driving a car, buddy? So you're not going reverse? You're doing a burnout? You're stuck on the car, buddy. You're using your one hand to drive. Just don't reverse it in any other car. It's no MG. It was the first accident. I mean, yo. <laughs> going to zig it with the with the with the crank. Not it's not going to work because the electrician 
called me and said that he's going to stop by to finish up their work on the Chevy and the smart car. What I'm doing now, I'm charging the smart car's battery um, so that when he gets here, it will be charged. This car, um, I'm going to do a lot of work on the inside as well to seal the engine off from the, the seats and all that. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to put any AC in this. I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that, just a little, you know, car that I cruise around in. It's not a race car. I'm not building no race cars. I'm just building cars that I can take out like weekends and go and cruise around and look good. It has to look good. I mean, so, I have nice wheels already. Um, I need to buff it and all that stuff so I'm going to make sure that the interior looks real good and yeah make sure I have, I have a different radio for it I have all that stuff to make sure that the interior looks real good because I'm not going to focus on engine and then the cars look car look like crap so yeah Mad Squad is not about that Mad Squad is all about appearance we work with appearance first and then we try to go fast so yeah when it's done we we'll go and buff it off give it a wash and it will be ready as you can see from all the cars we don't have any crap around and hopefully i can get to ziggy i mean it's going to be locked down jamaica is going to lock down soon so i think i have to go to ziggy next week next week so yeah guys let me see if the battery how much the battery is charged let me try to start it charge <laughs> to some smoke I guess it burning out some oil or whatever I think I need a new drain plug you know the, that one kind of dripping some oil but I have a, the exhaust need to be done so welder the exhaust need to be done he has the the welder has the, the exhaust manifold and he's going to do the exhaust for me so it's not this loud yeah guys um in the future i will take this car to ziggy um this is a home build this was built right here in my garage so this is a home build but i'm gonna take it to ziggy and have ziggy go back to it this is a you know do it myself kind of thing you know i was trying to i tried to do this myself i did a great job so far so yeah i'm gonna take it to ziggy get some internal parts for it and you know try to make as much power natural aspirated with this i'm not going to turbo it i'm not going to turbo it that's going to be a bit too much too risky so i've seen guys put k do k swaps in this do all that stuff and wheeling all over the place i mean my head might take me at some point and i turbo it but for now i'm trying to see how much power i can make natural aspirated so it start i have a ecu in it now it's stuck but i have a am for it so i'm going to put this in it and you know i have bigger injectors i have everything for it the only thing i don't have is a, a, i need a um a fuel cell for this so right now the the factory tank I'm using the factory tank but the filler neck i have to cut the filler neck to fit it under the car so i don't know i mean i might can get somebody to modify it so i can the filler neck can you know route different in the car but for now it's cut i'll tape it off and 
yeah that's what it is right now so you can't really be driven on the road because the gas will splash out i don't trust it so i can move it in the garage but i can't move it i can't drive it on the road so when the guy when the when the electrician is done with it i'm not going to drive it not going to do anything i just want the fan to be working and make sure that the car is cooling and then put it on the truck and then it will go to Ziggy and Ziggy will run through it, make sure I did everything properly and make this car a lot faster than it is right now. Guys, let's just shine in there, but instead of the man work on the car food in my eat. I can't go even for hungry belly. <laughs> I can't go hungry. <laughs> Kill a bird and uh, eat the bird, man. No, shall not kill. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. so click on the switch. Huh? Lock the oven there down, man. See if the gas pump come in. So, you know, sound, you know, sound heavy. One. Switch off again. Mm -hmm. Switch off again. Alright. So, guys, find a, a loose coolant hose. So, we're trying to get that tighten. So we can run it to see if the fan to see when the fan come on. You guys let me know what what you would love me to do with this car. And everybody's gonna say boost it, but yeah. We think about internals making like 150, 160 and take it on take it on the street oh 115 of this so that i run good you know mm -hmm. yeah.
this is all sorted out all sorted out guys and um i just need to fit it back up but i'm not going to do that today oh yeah guys it's sorted out the fan is coming on coming in and out and i'm happy with that so yeah that's it for now until the next video thanks for watching